Hello everyone, I hope everybody is well. Okay, this is my first time video in English. So I know it is not perfect, but uh, I will do my best for this interview with Walter. Um, today we will talk about investment solution Credit Star Direct Corporate Loans. I, uh, I am an investor since almost two years myself in credit. Um, this video is perfect for people who want yield with a great risk return ratio and with at least 10,000 euro to invest in, on this uh, kind of investment. So direct corporate loans, we will talk about that further in the video and the differences with uh, corporate bonds. Um, this video is sponsored this is a partnership with Credit Star. This is not financial advice. So do you own research? Uh, you have the link to invest in the description and you will have a bonus, uh, a 0.25% yield bonus and special condition with a minimum ticket of 10,000 euros instead of 2,000 euros uh, for uh, people, uh, normal people <laughs> until so 20, February 20, 8th. 20, Sorry, Vater. Not, not 2,000, 20, 20, 20,000. Oh, I, I, oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, 20,000. Yes. So for you, uh, with the link in the description, it's 10,000 at least. And for uh, other people, 20,000. So yes, thank you, Walter, for this special condition. Uh, so. You are a board member of Credistar. You uh, work at Credistar since uh, more than 10 years, if I correctly remember. OK. That's correct. That's and... correct. Uh, I have been uh, yeah, chief business development officer for more than 10 years. And uh, now for uh, more than a year, I'm uh, at, the, at the board level. OK, thank you. And so can you explain to our audience what Credit Star does and how and since when? Because uh, this is not uh, uh, a new coming, uh, a new uh, uh, a new company. Uh, they are in the place uh, since uh, a lot now. So uh, I'll let you talk about that. Sure, sure. Thank you, Cedric. Um, so our company, Credit Star Group, was uh, established in 2006 and we provide consumer financial services uh, in Europe. We, uh, we offer online and uh, mobile consumer loans via two products, revolving credit and installment loan in the amount of uh, up to 10,000 euros and for the duration of 36 months or even longer in case of uh, revolving credit product. Our service is uh, offered to private individuals we do not offer credit to, to business customers or, or legal entities. We are uh, regulated in eight European markets. Our consumer credit activity is supported by an industry leading infrastructure that meets these uh, strict regulations, as well as provides an exceptional user experience. Our revenue and customer growth have been fueled by entry into new markets, expanding customer base and product development. And uh, in addition to the credit products, which is our main line of business, we also offer investment product through our Monafit uh, Smart Saver brand, whereby investors can invest uh, between uh, 10 euros and 250,000 euros for up to 8.33% annual percentage yield and make withdrawals at any time. Okay, and so eight countries, it's uh, impressive. And uh, which in which countries do you operate right now? Uh, only in um, on the op European market or in uh, on uh, outside European market? Yeah, today it is uh, eight geographic markets in Europe. And uh, they are Estonia, Finland, Sweden, Poland, UK, Czech Republic, Spain, and Denmark. And uh, our investment product 
is available to residents from 74 countries with uh, European economic area bank accounts. So um, about about the, the team, because uh, I think you need a lot of people to manage it. Uh, how many people are inside the teams? Well, we actually try to be uh, as uh, as according to the fintech companies and, and trying to automate as much as possible. Uh, we definitely um, have less people than uh, some of the competitors we know of. So all in all, we have uh, still uh, 120, around 120 people from more than 30 nationalities. So it's quite a multicultural uh, team who we have. And uh, we have offices in Tallinn, Estonia, which is our headquarters, and also in uh, Warsaw, in Poland, and in uh, London, in UK. Okay, interesting. And uh, you think your capacity to um, automatize a lot of uh, your um, management or uh, your uh, organization, yes. Uh, so your, your, your capacity to automatize your organization, you think this is one of the principal um, um, causes cause of your success? I would say that uh, definitely one of the factors that we consider as a competitive advantage. In our case, it's uh, really difficult to pinpoint uh, the exact, uh, let's say, factor of the competitive advantage because it's actually a combination of uh, quite several factors. Uh, our, our track record, our quite an experienced team, uh, of course, the, the level of automation that we, that we provide. So as much what we can automate, uh, uh, the, uh, we, we, we are aiming to uh, definitely our capability to handle different regulative environments. So we are regulated in eight, uh, eight markets and it's, it's mm -hmm. quite, a, quite, a, quite a complex uh, matter actually for newcomers. <laughs> Quite several uh, competitive uh, factors and automation uh, also. So, uh, a question for investors: It's uh, is Credista in good financial health? Well, in short answer, yes. Um, if to explain a bit longer, then uh, uh, we have been operational for over seventeen years, and we have consistently maintained uh, profitability including uh, meeting our profitability targets for the year 2023. And uh, we are confident that our strategies ensure robust growth and profitable future for the company and our own investors. Our unaudited year-end results for 2023 are still being prepared. In the meantime, uh, we have available the financial results of quarter three 2020-23, with a net profit of 5.1 million euros for the first nine months of uh, last year, as well as the um, audited financial report of 2022, which is available for downloading from our corporate website at creditstar.com. Um, we can I, I can share with uh, you guys the interim reports from Q3. 2023, just a few seconds, I will share my screen. So you, you, you will receive when, uh, if you invest uh, in this uh, product, again, we are, you have the link inside the description of this video. And I think I will add it on the uh, first commentary inside uh, linked to the to the video we have this uh, you will receive the interim report each quarterly if uh, i'm correct it's each quarterly that, that will receive correct. this report yes and uh we can see yes uh so only for the quarter three uh 1.7 731 thousand euros yes uh net profit it's uh impressive and uh, as you say um we can look at the end yes we can see net profit uh nine months income 20, statement, if you want to scroll to it's 
first page of those uh, table table pages. So you ah, need to yes, scroll back the first a bit. Page. Okay. Yes. Final the, the report for 2023 will be available at the first February or at the beginning of uh, Fe February. This is correct. Uh, so, they should be available by the yes. Okay. Yeah, by the and, beginning uh, of February. I think uh, it will not be a big surprise. Uh, you will have net profit for the last year, and uh, um, if you uh, fill the for the formula, uh, you have the link again in the description. I will send you uh, this uh, report when I will receive it. Okay, so good financial health profitable since you are, you are profitable since since the beginning of the company we have been profitable since the beginning and uh, this has also been one of the objectives uh, uh, since uh, debt capital uh, also well the overall topic that we're discussing here uh, in this interview is uh, is our uh, main funding source when um, for the for the debt investors uh, Maintaining profitability has been one of the key objectives uh, for us in order to in order to be successful, in order to be able to uh, pay the interest to to the investors uh, and uh, basically to to run a successful company. Okay, great. And uh, so, about what you propose, what is the difference between corporate bonds and direct corporate loans? Um, yes, so. All of these are, uh, uh, and additionally, one other instrument, the peer-to-peer platform-based financing. So corporate bonds, direct corporate loans, and peer-to-peer -peer financing, uh, these three are the most important uh, debt financing instruments for us. We use the acquired capital for the purpose of funding our credit issuance across the, across the markets. When it comes to the investment process, then direct corporate loans are most comparable to the bonds um, in a way that uh, both are classified as uh, corporate investment versus directed investment into specific loans, as uh, is the peer-to-peer -peer channel. In fact, our investors consider direct loans as a simplified method over bonds. With bonds, uh, there is a requirement for the investor to have available a Baltic securities account, either directly or via a nominee account at the investor's bank, enabling the investor to hold securities settled by Nasdaq in the, in the Baltics. This typically limits the investor's geographic coverage, and we therefore see that the direct corporate loans are most popular with investors outside the Baltic states. The difference between direct loans and bonds is that uh, direct loan investments are unsecured, while bonds are backed by their respective collaterals. This, however, is compensated by a higher yield in case of the corporate loans versus bonds. And uh, how, do, how do these uh, direct corporate Loans work, duration, yield, minimum amount. Okay, we already talked about the minimum amount. Normally is 20,000 euros, but for you guys, it's uh, 10,000 euros until, until the February 8th. And what sort of guarantees do, do we have? So guarantees linked to this uh, uh, direct corporate loans? Um, so the direct corporate loans uh, work in the following way. Firstly, the investor makes us a transfer for a desired duration of the investment period, uh, which will be specified in the loan contract that we sign with the investors. Uh, thereafter, the investor will start to receive uh, interest payouts according to a predetermined schedule, which is uh, regularly at the end of uh, the uh, basically at the, at the last day of uh, each calendar month. And then uh, the repayment of the principal invested amount in the, basically when the investor is concluded with the, with the investment, if the uh, loan contract expires, 
Uh, this is done uh, as a bullet method in one go at the at the end of the contract period. We sign loan contracts with investors uh, and the investment period can be set there in between uh, 5 to 12 months according to investor's preference. Our standard contract includes also an automatic prolongation clause of the investment, which can be waived by the investor by sending us a termination notice three months ahead of the contract expiration date. Although typically we do see investors uh, using the automatic rollover and uh, continue to earn good and predictable interest across multiple years. And uh, about the guarantees, uh, as mentioned prior, direct corporate loans uh, are a type of an unsecured investment. However, we do have uh, specific uh, covenants or terms in place, which are similar to the ones we include in our bond issue terms, which the company has to follow uh, during the duration the direct loan investment uh, is active. Okay, and uh, so about the risk uh, of this uh, kind of uh, investment, I, I okay, uh, is there a special risk or it's the standard investment risk? Standard, yeah, standard investment risks. Uh, they apply, uh, such as market risk, uh, as we see some macroeconomic uh, circumstances definitely uh, create turbulence on the market, liquidity risk, etc. Mm. I know uh, several people in my uh, private community, Umento, um, I, I know more, some of them, they invest several hundred thousand euro in uh, credit since uh, several years uh, and uh, but for, for for this kind of investors it's a very interesting uh, this uh, what you propose because uh, I think about platforms like Mintost and I know uh, people in my uh, audience uh, use it use platforms like that uh, um, you, you have also lender market um, and Sometimes they propose a better interest rates, like 17%. So I know some people will ask me, okay, but why invest directly in Credit Star? I, I can have more interest with Mintos or Lender Market. Okay, okay. This uh, requires a bit of a longer explanation. Uh, so direct corporate loan uh, with a fixed interest rate providing monthly interest uh, payments and a bullet repayment at the end is uh, different from investing on peer-to-peer uh, peer -peer platforms in several ways. So in the case of direct loans, the interest rate is fixed for the entire duration of the loan, let's say 12 months. This means that as an investor, you can expect consistent and predictable monthly interest payments, as well as a lump sum uh, principal repayment or the bullet at the end of the loan term. This uh, structure, it provides more certainty and stability, allowing you to plan your cash, cash flows and uh, returns more accurately. On the other hand, investing at peer-to-peer uh, -peer platforms exposes you to loans with uh, varying interest rates. While some loans may have uh, higher interest rates, others may be significantly lower. And the actual return on your investment depends on the demand for loans on the platform and the mix of interest rates uh, that uh, you invest in on the platform. So therefore, you may not be able to deploy your whole investment amount uh, with the desired interest rate. This means that uh, your returns will fluctuate over time, making it more challenging to predict your cash flows and overall returns. In the given example of 17% of uh, interest rate, like you mentioned, it may be that uh, there is a batch of uh, loans provided with that yield, possibly driven by a campaign offer, but at the next moment, 
there won't be any more loans available with that yield. Moreover, the repayment schedule on peer-to-peer -peer platform is uh, not as rigid as in case of direct corporate loans. In the peer-to-peer -peer scenario, your payments depend on the actual payments made by the borrowers. If a borrower misses a payment or defaults on their loan, it could affect your repayment schedule. In contrast, a direct corporate loan has a predetermined payment schedule, which is more predictable. And um, last but not least, there might be a third party risk related to the platforms. Uh, so that is anything happening with, uh, with the platform itself. So long story short, direct uh, corporate loans uh, with the uh, predetermined payment schedule can be a better solution for investors seeking uh, stability and predictability. Okay. So, yes, I, I think the, for me, the most important thing, it's about the fact we, um, when we invest directly with you, we don't have a front party between us and you. And I think uh, it's very important because, okay, uh, just 1% more on interest rates, uh, is it enough to justify a front party um, plus everything you talk about? Uh, uh, for my part, I prefer to direct uh, uh, directly um, invest with Credit Star. And also, again, uh, <laughs> we talk about uh, Mintos because I know uh, several people uh, will uh, ask me uh, things a uh, question about that uh, why are some loan repayments on mintos mintos on old and um what are you doing about it because um you you, you know mintos propose credit star solution i don't know if it's uh, always um, you always work with uh, mintos or you stopped uh, we have worked with uh, mintos i believe from 2015 or 2016, so quite a long-term cooperation. We we continue to work with them, uh, although we have reduced the uh, exposure or the amount of uh, uh, capital that we have borrowed uh, through that platform. And and speaking about uh, loans being on hold, then uh, uh, at the moment um, uh, we do not have any any loans on on hold or in pending status. In Mintos, but um, during 2022 and 2023, due to the war in Ukraine and the turbulent times in the financial markets, the overall investment amounts on peer-to-peer -peer platforms uh, they dropped significantly, and uh, this indeed posed us with a short-term challenge to repay all investor claims while we saw continuous strong lending demand at the same time. However, we effectively navigated through these times, adapting our strategies, uh, ensuring stability and continuity. And uh, by the beginning of uh, quarter four in 2023, all the pending payments were resolved by us. And we believe this reflects our commitment to sustainable growth and uh, investor returns. Okay, so the no more issues with uh, Mintos right now. That is correct. At the moment, uh, all okay. the loans are uh, in their in their regular statuses. Okay, thank you. Another question I think people will ask me is this is okay, but why don't you just borrow from banks offering better interest rates? And why you ask to investors like us to uh, give you money? Well, for us, borrowing from the banks, it's, uh, it's not that easy. <laughs> the uh, commercial banks uh, typically see fintech companies like us as direct competitors. And uh, they do not issue corporate loans to us. Or the process has been made overly complex. Though... We are in the process of uh, investigating large-scale institutional credit facilities, which is 
quite uh, time consuming, but in the event of a successful outcome, we would indeed acquire capital with a better interest rate. And uh, I know a lot of people who watch us uh, have uh, their own company. And uh, is it possible to invest with a moral entity, uh, with uh, our company, or it's, is, is this is just for um, physical person? Uh, it is. It is possible to invest both as a private person and uh, through a company. Okay, great. Uh, and so, about the the process, uh, can you explain the process of uh, investing and the, the you know for, for my part this is something uh, very scary in France uh, about the formalities. <laughs> so, uh, what are the administrative formalities? involved to invest with you sure uh, the um the investors uh, formalization uh, and and the loan contract signing is uh, handled by our investor relations team uh, by a few interaction steps so firstly investors uh, submit their interest to invest uh, to us through a designated form in the current uh, cooperation case with you, Cedric, uh, it, is, uh, it is you who provides investors, uh, 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 the interested parties with, with such a form. So in that form, investors specify some key details regarding themselves, as well as details about the investment amount and duration. Thereafter, our investor relation team sends the investor our due diligence form in order to conduct the AML KYC process. Once that is completed successfully, we send our standard loan agreement and mutual signing takes place. And as a final step, the investors make a bank transfer to our designated bank account, which will be provided during the process. I did it, I think, uh, four times four times yes i did it four times until now and uh okay it's uh it's not so difficult and uh we sign everything in uh, online so it's not something complicated and uh what, yes what happens when the direct corporate loans expire uh, how do i get my capital back did i need to ask you anything provide you uh, something our finance team uh our finance team keeps the schedule. So, uh, like I mentioned, uh, we have a standard, uh, uh, like a rollover, automatic rollover clause. But if the investor has indicated that uh, uh, he does not want to, he or she does not want to uh, uh, continue with the investment uh, after the expiration, uh, then uh, as the contract uh, expires, then we simply transfer back the invested principal amount. Uh, like I said, uh, I did it four times until now. Uh, and uh, so I, um, I I don't know if I already talked uh, um, about that, but uh, I, uh, I've i re-scribed um, this uh, in January for five months. It works perfectly to, to receive our capital at the end of uh, the direct loan. And about the report, again, we uh, look at it previously. And uh, so ca can, you, uh, can you explain what we receive uh, as a report? The investors uh, can expect quarterly updates in the form of uh, interim reports, such as uh, what you showed earlier, detailing the key financials on the group level and other relevant highlights. So there is also the comments from the CEO, comments from the management in terms of our recent activities, uh, any recent highlights, news, uh, what, we, what we want to um, uh, point, uh, point, to the, uh, point the investor's attention to. And uh, once per year, we uh, circulate the uh, audited annual report. And uh, at the moment, we have the 2022 annual uh, audited report available for 
downloading at creditstar.com. Yes, yeah, so they can download it so uh, on your website and I will add it the link inside the description, inside the video description. Will you cut? Because, okay, um, we think the interest rates, the standard interest rates from uh, uh, ECB, Central Bank, uh, will, um, will be lower this year and uh, will you cut your interest rates in th if the ECB does? That's a good question. Uh, we see our cost of capital being affected by market conditions next to our investment appetite and a set of financing instruments available for us at the, at the given time. And in recent years, the market conditions driven by uh, European Central Bank's interest rate changes have for sure affected our cost of capital. Similarly, we do indeed expect an inverse effect and interest rate lowering possibilities once ECB cuts its interest rates. Okay, so before then, did you have any disclaimer legal information to provide uh, to our audience? Yes, uh, I have been asked to point out by our legal department that. Uh, we, Creditor Group, is uh, raising additional debt capital via direct loan agreements, and we are open to receiving uh, relevant inquiries from parties interested in making an investment. However, we maintain the discretion to decide with whom the direct loan agreements are concluded and on what terms. So, submitting the requested info does not necessarily guarantee that a direct loan agreement uh, will be concluded. Yes, thank you, Walter. And uh, this is why also you you have, uh, you, uh, of course, you have a uh, you know your customer. Uh, so you need we need to provide some information, and uh, after that we will receive uh, the the response if uh, it's okay to continue uh, and uh, invest with you or not. But uh, uh, so far. I don't know uh, every. I don't know any people uh, who have uh, a, who had any problem to invest with you. Thank you very much, Walter, for your response in details. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's great. Uh, so again, you have the link to invest in the description. You will have un until only until uh, 8 February uh, bonus of a 0.25% yield bonus and access to special condition with a minimum ticket of 10,000 euro instead of 20,000 euro. Again, link in description and in the first commentary. Thank you very much, Walter. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.